Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to enjoy this video with my stinking long hair and I'm going to show you how I curl my hair with a bubble wand. Um, it's a wand, like a curling wand, but it has kind of bubbles on it. I don't know, I'll show it to you in a minute. But first things first, I always section off my hair because I have really, really thick hair. No matter how long it is, I always try to section it off. I usually do in three, maybe four sections, depending on how tight I want the curls. But I put some heat protectant spray in it. It is Tresemme's um, heat protectant. I don't know. It works pretty well, I guess. This is the bubble wand. I always use the glove because I'm sometimes prone to burning myself. And I'm just not about that life. So you use it like any other wand. You just kind of help the curls fall in between the bubbles and over top of the bubbles. I'm not quite sure um, what the significance of there being a bubble versus there just being um, a wand is other than the fact that it is super super spirally super curly very surely temple like if your hair is short um, but the wand and the glove um, come together obviously they are from the brand Numi which I had never really heard of before until I joined the YouTube community um, they do different um, curling and styling tools um, as well as just different like hair products to help with like argan oils and stuff like that to help damaged hair but it's a really really good wand I think I talked about this in one of my last favorites videos it's been forever since I've done one of those so let me know in the comment section if you would like for me to do another uh, or start doing those again because I haven't um, done one in forever mostly because I feel like every month I just want to talk about the same things because a lot of the stuff I use is from month to month kind of deals but I don't know let me know in the comments what you want whenever the ends get kind of weird I just curl them around for a little bit um, I hold it for about 10 seconds because it gets very very hot <laughs> very quickly don't burn yourself but the curls are wonderful they last like literally years if you wanted them to they hold so well, so much better than my curls with my straightener do, um, which is how I usually curl my hair because I am really dumb when it comes to curling irons and I always do it wrong and it just never holds as well because I don't think it gets as hot. But this tool does get very, very hot, so it holds really well. That being said, um, I'm kind of going to make this a chatty how-to because... I feel like it's pretty simple. You wrap the hair away from your face around the wand, you hold it for 10 seconds, you let it go, you twist it up a little bit just to make sure that it gets as curly as you want it to be. Um, you spray it with some hairspray, section through and just keep on going. But you guys, I've got a lot of change that I want to be making to my channel here in the next um, new year, I guess, because I probably won't start until the new year, but I want to start vlogging. Yay, I know, it's something completely new to the world because everyone and their dog vlogs, but it's something that I have wanted to do for a very long time, and I'm actually really curious to hear you guys' feedback on what you guys think that that would mean for me, and um, some things that you would be interested to see, I guess. I have some ideas of just kind of what it would be. It'd probably be a weekly vlog at first, um, kind of like a weekend thing. I don't think I could do a daily vlog just with my daily life. Um, it's all pretty similar from day to day, but there are some um, fun things that I do on weekends and just like the college life that I would like to vlog for you guys. Um, vlog for myself, I guess. But um, sometimes curls don't really work out and stuff is painful and you have to redo it, but that's okay. Um, Sidetracked. This video is a little squirrely, but that's okay. You guys are getting to know my real personality. So, about the vlogging thing, I'm pretty excited about it. It's some changes that I want to be making um, just to this channel in general, um, as well as just kind of um, how I go about doing uh, YouTube because it is a lot of fun and I really enjoy it, but I really think that it could change just how I do this as um, a fun little hobby thing to maybe more of a permanent thing. But I want to know you guys' um, opinions, you guys' experience with vlog channels and what it is that you like about vlog channels because I know everybody has something different that they like about um, a certain vlog channel and so I'm curious why um, you like a certain channel that you do. I'm 
very curious and I want you guys to let me know. So in the comments, tell me what you guys would like to see me vlogging and what you think that would do for my channel, like what you would like to see on my channel that's different from what I already do with vlogs, as well as what um, you guys like about different vloggers. Like who are some of your favorite vloggers and why do you like what they do? Um, that's pretty much it. That's what I want to know from you guys. So I hope that this um, chatty get ready with me hair something has been kind of helpful for you to figure out oh my gosh, there's such a thing called a bubble wand, and it's wonderful, and look at all those feisty little curls. Um, these curls held for, like, four days, and I was like, okay, I need to actually wash my hair because my scalp is gross, but the curls are still a thing. But bubble wands are fun. They're a cool way to get super tight curls, um, and they work with long hair or short hair, which is a really fun thing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know those couple things down in the comments. I love you guys. I hope that you are having a wonderful end of the semester. Mine has been crazy and hectic, which is why I haven't put up videos in what seems like 10 years. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful end of the semester. I love you guys and stay beautiful.